e-business and or e-commerce course overview. Um, e-business and e-commerce are very closely related. E-business is a much broader sense of what uh, doing business on the uh, web is all about versus e-commerce which is also on the web but it deals more specifically with the uh, process of collecting um, money so doing um, doing financial business on the web so that's really the difference between the two so I want to introduce myself before we begin um, this is an online course so you will meet me in the other class that you have with me in business analysis but in the meantime I do want to uh, introduce myself for those who are not taking the uh, business analysis course and only taking the e-business course this semester. So my name is Mary Ann Sullivan. I have a master's degree in business administration from Ottawa University. I've been at a Algonquin College now for easily 18 plus years. My career began in the private sector with the following positions. I had a position with NABU Networks, a company that doesn't exist anymore. Um, as a systems specialist uh, for five years, I also worked for Xerox Corporations as a systems analyst for 10 years. I ran my own company called Visions Consulting uh, for three years and then went from that company directly into DMR Consulting, which is now called Fujitsu today, um, as a systems consultant for three years. Uh, while at DMR, I got recruited by SAP Canada and became an implementation consultant and project manager for four years and then went to Nokia as a systems development uh, wire, wireless uh, implementation manager and project manager uh, for two years. And then finally, uh, when I left there, I joined Algonquin College and I've been here ever since uh, in the School of Business for the last 18 years. Uh, so what are the things that you need to consider and look at for this course? Um, one, the course overview. Um, all of these, of course, are uh, contained in your, um, in your learning management tool. Uh, this year it's called Brightspace. Uh, so there is a course overview. It outlines the course requirements. Of course, the schedule is very important as well. The schedule is under course information on the course, and it details um, all the due dates, uh, the different reading materials that are required, the lectures that you're responsible for, um, the student readings that you need to do, and so on. So uh, please check the schedule on a regular basis. Um, actually, every time you enter into the course, you should be taking a quick look at the schedule just to make sure that you're on track. Um, then as well, there are all types of projects and assignments for you to complete. There are two main projects, uh, one in SAP and one in HTML. And the other one, um, so those are your two pro projects. And then assignments, of course, you have things like discussion boards uh, or essays. We call them uh, essays as a, as instead of discussion boards because actually they involve about 1,500 words. So they're not quite as short as a typical discussion board. And then, of course, the last section is the grades. It's also under course information. Uh, on the page with the schedule at the bottom of the page is where you'll find uh, where the grades come from. So why is online learning such an important uh, course for you to take? Um, skills, what are the skills that are needed for success? Employers love that you have completed an online learning course. It shows that you are capable of self-direction and self-study. A lot of organizations um, have their uh, staff do self-directed online study throughout their time with the, the organization that they're in and they want to know that you are capable of doing this because this, this is important to them. So the, the things that are important are one, minimal direction is required. You, can, you show that you can follow through on tasks as required. Two, the independent time management skills that you have. You control th when things get done. Uh, accountability, you're responsible for completing the work on time and the success or failure is based on, on your ability to complete those activities. Uh, motivation, it shows that if you're able to get through a course from start to finish that you are interested in, in learning and self-improvement and you are interested in the success uh, following these activities. And as well, being a lifelong learner, you are likely to continue with updating uh, your skills on a regular basis without direction, which is one of the most important things to employers, is that they don't have time to do uh, a lot of training. So when there is training to be done, it's usually self-directed online learning. 
So here are the activities and grades you can expect uh, from this course. This course is basically set up with four main modules uh, that follow the textbook content. So each of the modules will usually have a lecture, usually in PowerPoint or Microsoft uh, Word, as well as some of the modules will have their own video lectures as well. So be sure to uh, review both the traditional lectures as well as the video lectures. Um, the project and activities, uh, overall there are two uh, projects, main projects, and they do consist of 40% of the overall grade. The essays or, or slash or what we call discussion board essays uh, on, usually are on the, the topic at hand in the module that you're in and they're sort of worth 30% overall. And of course each module has an end of unit quiz, so all the quizzes uh, add up to about 30% as well. There is no final exam, uh, so to speak, in this course. It is project based as well as quiz based. So uh, there isn't a final exam, but you are responsible for make sure, making sure that you complete both the, the two projects that are there, the essays that are required, each is usually around 1,500 words, and of course the end of unit quizzes, and that's where your overall grades come from. So hopefully that's a quick introduction as to what the course is about, and now we'll move on to some actual lecture material.